Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In my previous videos we have seen how to set up Jenkins and CentOS and Windows machine. If you have not watched the videos kindly please do so. In today's tutorial we are going to see the introductions to Jenkins and continuous integration. This will be a multiple part videos, and today we are going to create a simple Jenkins job, and also will see some of the configurations in Jenkins. To give a explanation on what is continuous integration, it is the practice that requires developers to integrate their code continuous, or at regular intervals into a shared repository. Consider there are multiple developers and they are developing the code. Whenever they make changes to the code it will be pushed to version control system like Git, Subversion etc. Any new changes done to the code, it will go through different phase like continuous build, continuous testing, continuous deployment. Through Jenkins we are executing the phases of continuous build and continuous testing. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and give your comments. Log into your Jenkins with the account you have created at the time of installation or account you have created with respective rights. You are now in the Jenkins homepage or dashboard. On the right top corner you can see the user account under which you have logged in, and also option to log out. You can also enable or disable auto refresh. You are not able to see any jobs on the home page, because we don't have any jobs created yet. On the left hand side of the page you can see, new item which is for creating new Jenkins jobs. People, build history, manage Jenkins etc. We will be using manage Jenkins for lot of things in coming tutorials. You will be able to also see any builds in queue and Jenkins slave list, we will be going through in details about Jenkins slave and master roles in upcoming videos. Let's create our first Jenkins job. Click on create new item you will be taken to the screen where you can give a name of the job and select which kind of job you want to create. Let's create a freestyle project. If you want to create pipeline project select respective item from the list. If you don't see some of these in the list, it means you have not installed the necessary plugins for the same. We will see plugins under Manage Jenkins in this tutorial. Once you click on OK after giving the name for the project, you are in the configuration page for your Jenkins project. You can give a description for your project. You can select the respective options according to your project needs. If you are using any source code management tools, install the respective plugin and it will be shown here. You can configure the source code management tool to connect to Jenkins here. The build triggers gives you option on how to start the build. You can start the build periodically, using cron jobs, when any commit happen in source code management automatic build can start. Select the respective build environment. To add a build steps, select the type of build step you want to use. Here we will use execute windows batch command. We are going to write a small output message. You can also add post build options like sending email once the build is completed successfully. Once the settings are done click on OK for your first job to be created. On the left panel on the job screen, click on build now for the job to run. If the job is successful you will be able to see the icon as blue, and if the job is failed the icon will be red. Click on the icon to see the console output.
If you see under Manage Jenkins, we have multiple options and every one is important. There are a lot of configurations which we may have to do before we can use Jenkins for continuous integration. We will be seeing more on Configure System in this tutorial. If you go to Manage Plugin, you will be able to see tabs, updates, available, installed and advanced. Installed tab will show the currently installed plugins and if you need any new plugin to be installed search under available and install it. Under advanced tab you can set the proxy details if you are connecting through a proxy network. Now let's check out the configuration system. Since I am using Jenkins on Windows machine, it is showing the Windows location for Jenkins home directory. We can also send some customized message. I will show you using a normal text and hold one using HTML header tag. The other options which we can make use of under configuration are number of executors, labels which we will see in upcoming tutorials. Labels are majorly used for slave and master concept. We can define on which slave this job has to be run. We can also restrict the system to create projects on their own names. We can set a format and everyone should use the same one. We can also set environmental variables.
we can identify the users available in the system and who has logged in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short introduction on continuous integration. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video.